Well, hello again. We will continue our journey through chemistry. It is all that matters. And in this video, we will talk about how to classify different forms of matter. So in the previous video, we were talking about matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. So how are we going to classify something so broad? Well, we'll begin by asking a question. Can it be separated? Now, if it can be separated, yes, then we are dealing with a mixture. If the answer is no, it cannot be separated, then we're dealing with pure substances. Now, over here on the mixture side, is the composition uniform is the next question we ask. And if yes, we are dealing with a homogeneous mixture. But if the answer is no, we are dealing with a heterogeneous mixture. As far as pure substances go, the question we ask is, can it be broken down by ordinary chemical means? If the answer is yes, we have a compound. But if the answer is no, we have an element. So, let's look at these. So a ho homogeneous mixture. When I think of a homogeneous mixture, I think of vanilla ice cream. It's the same throughout, top to bottom, the same. Homogeneous is milk when it's homogenized. If, of course, you leave the milk too long in the refrigerator, you'll get that separation of the fat and the whey and the, and the liquid portion of the milk, and then it wouldn't be homogeneous. But we homogenize our milk to keep it the same throughout. Now, heterogeneous mixtures, I think of Rocky Road ice cream. Every bite is different. You don't get the same number of marshmallows or nuts w along with the chocolate ice cream with every bite. So this is heterogeneous. It's different, mixed throughout. A lava lamp would be a good ex uh, example of a heterogeneous mixture. The oil and the water, and as you heat it up, the oil will move throughout the water, creating that eerie sense of lighting, but it's a heterogeneous mixture because it's not consistent, not the same throughout. Now, when we look at compounds, we're looking at things that contain more than one element. So here we have a pile of salt. Salt is made up of the elements sodium and chlorine. It's a compound adjoining of two or more elements. This nice fresh glass of water, H2O, hydrogen combined with oxygen. And here we have a nice example of rust. Rust is iron oxide. Iron in two atoms and oxygen in three atoms forming iron oxide. Last but not least, we have the most pure of all substances, the simplest of all substances, and that is the elements. And elements are represented here on the periodic table. They cannot be broken down into simpler substances. So you're looking at things like aluminum, mercury, sodium, helium, argon, dysprosium, americium. So, so many different elements. There are over 100 and we will go throughout the periodic table throughout this this semester. Now, as we look at our different substances of matter, we're going to determine are they substances or mixtures, elements or compounds, homogeneous or heterogeneous. So for each of the types of matter listed on the left, you're going to determine if it's a substance or a mixture. If it's a substance, you're going to put element or compound in the chart. If it's a mixture, you're going to write homogeneous or heterogeneous in the chart. Now you do have a PDF available for you and you can go ahead and print that out and fill it out if you want or you can just do this mentally so why don't you turn off the video now fill in the data and then come back and see how you did so for each of these let's take a look so for chlorine that is a substance and it is a single element Water, as we said before, is a compound, a combination of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Soil 
is never the same throughout. So you could have rocks, pebbles, grains of sand, so therefore you have heterogeneous. Sugar water would seem to be homogeneous, but you know what? You always kind of have a little more sugar down at the bottom of your glass than you do throughout the rest of the glass, so it's heterogeneous. Oxygen is a single element. Carbon dioxide, carbon plus oxygen, two oxygens for every one carbon, so that's a compound. Rocky Road ice cream, we already explained, was heterogeneous. Alcohol is a homogeneous substance. Pure air is homogeneous. Um, and actually, we could probably talk about that being heterogeneous because as you go up through the altitude and pressures change, there's more or less oxygen in the different levels of our air. And then iron, that would be an element found on the periodic table. So this is an element. So hopefully you did pretty well in separating out these examples of matter into substances or mixtures, elements or compounds, heterogeneous or homogenous.